In this lecture, we're going to focus on working with pages and subpages. Pages are where you house your information in OneNote. In OneNote 2016, you can add as much content as you want to a page. However, to stay more organized and for easier reviewing, you can create additional pages for your information. So in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to add your pages, copy pages, organize pages, and delete your pages. Let's start out by adding pages. As with any feature, there are multiple ways that you can add pages, and I'm going to show you two different ways to add pages to your notes. So let's go ahead and navigate to our notebook, and we'll start with the first way to add a page. At the very top of your page listing, you've got a button, Add Page. Quick and easy. Click the Add Page button, and it will create a new page for you. Now we'll come over to the center, and we'll title our page. You'll notice as soon as you type in your title, it also adds it to the page listing. Whenever you click Add Page, it's going to add it to the bottom of your listing. The second way to add pages is to navigate to where you want the page to be, and you'll notice I get this little plus in an arrow box. That's telling me that's where it's going to create the page when I click on it. So if I want to move up and create my page at the very top, I'll navigate there and click on the plus. Once I do that, it'll create my blank page so I can name it. And again, you can see it adds the name over here. So with this option, it'll put the page wherever you want it. With the first option, Add Page, it always puts it at the bottom of your list, so then you need to move it to where you want it to go. And so let me show you now how to move your pages around. So let's go down to the bottom, that page we just added. All you need to do is click on it with your left mouse button, and then drag it to where you want it to go. Now you'll notice when I'm dragging it, it's creating a line across the list. This is telling you that if you release your mouse button at this point, that's where it's going to drop the page. So once I release it, it drops the page where the line was. And that's how easy it is to move pages around. All you need to do is click and drag. As I had mentioned at the beginning of the lecture, OneNote allows you to create as long a note as you want. But again, it's sometimes it's easier if you break that information up into multiple pages so that you can quickly navigate to it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to copy pages and pull information out. So I'm going to navigate to my Notes from Meeting page, and in here I've got Project 1 Notes, Project 2 Update, Project 3 Project, and so forth. And so what I want to do is I want to pull the information out for each project and create its own page. Now I could go ahead and add a page, copy the information from here, and paste it into the new page. But what I'm going to do instead, so I don't have to worry about my formatting changing or anything like that, I'm going to copy this meeting notes page. So I'm going to do a right click on it, do copy, and paste. Now I've got my meeting notes page copied here as well as here. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take and I'm going to delete out the first part of this and the last part of this. Now I'll rename it. To rename a page, do a right click on it and click rename. It's going to take me up to the top. I could have also just double clicked on the title to rename it as well. So now I'm going to give it my new name. And now it's all the notes from Project 2 for my notes from meeting. I'm going to take the same one and I'm going to paste it again. And this time I'm going to take out Project 1 and Project 2. Going to rename it. Now this time I'm just going to come up and double click in here. Come up to my notes from meeting. This is going to be my Project 1. So I'll come in and I'll delete everything else out of here and I'm going to rename it. So now, instead of having to scroll through that long list of notes to find my Project 2 or my Project 3 notes, all I need to do is come over here and I can find it quickly. So that's one of the nice features about being able to take your notes out of pages and create additional pages with the information. It's more visual over here to see the information. And as we move now into organizing our notes, you'll see even how much better it is having it in separate pages. So once you create your pages, you can also create subpages and subpages of subpages to give it a hierarchical listing of your pages. 
so you can group like information together. So for instance, if I wanted to put all my Project 2 information together, I'm going to create a main page for it so that I can put all the other pages under it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where I want to create the page and I'm going to put it at the top. I'm going to give it a name. So it's going to be all my Project 2 information. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my pages around to put them in a better organization. So I'm going to come down and grab my Project 2 information and move it under Project 2. Here's another one and another one. So we'll scroll up and add that as well. So it's great I've got the information under there, but it's a little bit hard to read it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the subpages. So click on the page and drag it in. If you've got multiple, you could do a shift click. See how much easier it is to read the information by just dragging it in a little bit and creating the subpages? Now if I needed to, I could create a sub off of here by just dragging it in one further. And see how much easier it is to read? Got another one down here for Project 2, so let's drag it up here. Now when you're creating your pages and your subpages, you can also back out of it by just dragging it back out. So if I wanted it out here, or I could drag it out further if I wanted it all the way out as a main page. So it's very easy just to drag it where you need it to be. And also another nice thing about creating the pages and subpages is you can collapse and expand them as needed. So if I'm done looking at Project 2 and I don't need this information cluttering my page, I'll just come over to the arrow here to the right and click on it, and it's going to collapse my information. Now if I needed to go back into my Project 2 information, I would click on the down arrow to expand it back out. If you create a page and you no longer need it, you can delete the page by doing a right click on it, and selecting Delete. That will remove the page for you. If we go back to our e-learning notebook, you can see once you get everything organized, how much easier it is to read the information on your pages. So just to review, you can add a page by clicking the Add Page button, or you can also move to where you want the page to be and click the plus button, and it'll add the page there. It's going to add a blank page, so all you need to do is come over and type in the title, and then you're ready to start entering your information. You can move pages around by just dragging them to their new location. You can make pages a subpage of a page by dragging it in. Drag it back out if you no longer need it to be a subpage. And you can expand and collapse pages as well.